I figured you'd be sick of drills by now. Hopefully our training exercises will be more interesting than what they've had you doing at the academy. Open the door by clicking the right mouse button. The right button uses items in the world. Added to your key ring. Use the key ring to unlock the door and proceed to the next area. equipment during these exercises. Press F1 at any time to access the inventory screen, which will let you add and remove items from the tool belt. Press F2 to view your current goals and any notes you may decide to take. On a typical mission, a UNATCO agent's objectives are logged electronically so that he can stay on task at all times. Now pick up a weapon and try to break open those crates. One of them's indestructible, but the others contain things you might find useful. Now pick up the lockpick and use it to open the door. Lockpicking takes time and expends the self-assembling resources of modern lockpicks. Just be patient and remember your training. At higher skill levels, you won't need as much time or lockpick resources to pick a lock. have two strength values. The door strength tells you how much damage the door The lock strength tells you how picks will be required to pick the lock. Some doors have an infinite That means you have to find a key. object in the world. Use the disposable multi-tools on the table to hack the keypad up ahead. A multi-tools resources are finite. When a tool is depleted, it becomes useless. The manual describes other uses for the multi-tool. At higher skill levels, you'll need less time and multi-tool resources to hack a given device. I'm here to pick up all munitions and Lying in front of you is a brave cadet who volunteered to be rendered unconscious for this next training exercise. Highlight and search him to find the key to the medical room. 
Afterward, pick up his body and place it on the medical table so that one of my aides can revive him once the exercise is over. someone down there immediately to revive Private Winslow. Move on to the next area. You bet this won't be the last time we send you into a dark room. Sometimes use cameras like this in their security grids to set off alarms and alert guards to your location. Jump across the platforms. You'll have to crouch to get under those pipes. If you fall, use these stairs to begin again.
take the ladder at the you look up and use the arrow. We get some complaints about this swimming obstacle because the water's ah! down. Oh. Recruits. only for a fixed duration. Use the ramp on the other side of the pool to climb out. These medical bots, normally used for quick healing, are of particular interest to you, Jason, because you need a bot's help to install new augmentations. If you took any damage during the swim, now's a good time to get patched up. Welcome to the combat training area. I am Günther Hermann, and I will be monitoring your progress here. We will start with weapon familiarization. Your first exercise will be to learn a little about aiming and targeting. Step up to the shooting range to the west. Accuracy will become. Release the second target and aim before shooting. Proceed to the next area. I'm here to pick. This is a rifle. Accuracy. Step up to the shooting range. The targets are released using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and destroy it with the rifle. Use the rifle scope by pressing the left bracket key to turn the scope on.
Now we are going to raise your skill with rifles to master level. Release the second target and destroy it. Good work. As you can see, higher skills give you better range, accuracy and effectiveness. Proceed to the next area when you are ready. Handy. This is the demolitions training area. First you will learn to use the lamb as a proximity mine. Approach the bay window and you will see a lamb placed on the target board on the black and red wall. Press the first button next to the window and a security bot will be released. Watch as he nears the lamb. Lambs placed on the wall is a proximity triggered. your own lamb. Take a lamb from the munitions bay and proceed to the red and black wall below. in the hallway. Throw a lamb down to the end of the hall. Once it blows, proceed down the corridor. I just like to kid around. I didn't have my boots polished. That's why they put me here. They just make up excuses. Notice 
Well, the wooden door was destroyed and the metal and barred doors remained. such as this, and your lamb and other explosives will allow you to breach them. Continue through that breach and on to the next section. Gotta start the next section without arms or tools. The area beyond the door is the grenade defusing facility. Here you will learn how to remove planted explosive devices. At each of the corners of this area, you will find a lamp planted on the wall. You must disarm and remove all four lamps before you can proceed to the section of training. You will need to move up to the lamp quickly and to defuse it by right-clicking. A second right-click will remove the lamp from the wall. Warning, Agent Denton. It was a simulated experience. Real lambs will not be so forgiving. You may proceed to the next area. I'm here to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation. I have visual. Close the north. Return to the control room to the south and press the button in the overlook window to restart the test. This time, don't let the guards see you. Stay crouched. Stay behind the crates and stay behind the guards. I know I saw somebody.
remember the four basic tactics to avoid detection. Crouch behind concealment. Stay behind enemies. Move slowly to avoid making noise. And use shadows to conceal yourself. Be alert to every possibility.